When two big name players start chirping at each other, and I mean really going at it, it's usually time to grab some popcorn because there isn't anything quite like it. Yeah, I do talk trash a little bit. <laughs> so when Ryan Hoop got up into Spartan's face after a tight win at New Orleans 2018, it generated a massive spark of energy that the Halo scene had been missing for quite some time. Behind every piece of drama though, there's a bit of history. In main stage, trash talk has been a staple of esports since before Gandhi brought a roll of toilet paper on stage for T-Squared. This is the tale of a longtime Halo vet bringing the energy against someone he had been having words with for a good yeah, absolutely. while. Absolutely, he's been a top eight player his entire career. He got lucky, he got overrated, got on some good teams that carried him. This event, he didn't have that. This event, he did not have a team to carry him and we beat him. Of a newer player catching up to and surpassing the person he had been competing against for years, resulting in one of Halo 5's most iconic moments. This is the story of Rhino versus Spartan. Oh my goodness, did you see that Rhino just getting right up in Spartan's face? Before we get to the main course, I have to set the table and introduce our characters for today's story. On one side, you have Ryan Geddes, originally known as a really good noob, before shortening it to just Ryan Noob. Ryan Noob began his career competing in the last year of Halo 3. He found particular success at the National. 2010 Combine, placing third in the FFA and winning the 4v4 with his team, Adrenaline Rush. Ryan has continued to compete consistently since then, only taking minor breaks during Halo 4 and Reach when they were still using the Bloom settings. So you can't really blame him for that. On the other hand, you have Tyler Spartan Gonza. Originally going by the handle Spartan the Dog, Tyler's first Halo event actually predates Ryan Oops by about nine months, having finished third in the FFA at Meadowlands 2009. That was the only OG Halo 3 event that Spartan attended ended though, and unlike Ryan Oob, he didn't bother with Reach. Picking the series back up during H4, he's remained in the scene ever since. Now, on to the juicy part. For those of you that weren't fortunate enough to be around during the 2012 to 2015 era of esports Twitter, it was something to behold. I mean, it truly was the Wild West. Roster changes were facilitated via DMs, and players would not infrequently announce that they were switching teams twice in the same day, including once where it happened within a half an hour. Any sense of professionalism, for lack of a better word, was completely non-existent at the time. This, of course, extended to the way players spoke to one another. Trash talk was rampant. I don't mean today's, oh, I'll try to meme you in some good-natured humor and maybe get some clout in the process. No, this was pure, unmitigated vitriol. Yoshi, you didn't even go to school this year! You didn't go to school to pursue this! In the case at hand, this was propelled even more by the fact that Spartan came from the Gears of War scene. How does that factor in, you may ask? Well... Yeah. To say Gears players have no filter would be the understatement of the century. It's an old school, no Fs given esport. When you take a player from that environment and transplant them into a group of veterans of a series whose competitive scene was on its deathbed at the time, there's probably going to be some tension. All this to say that Spartan rubbed the Halo community the wrong way at first. Ryan Noob, not being exactly shy to trash talk himself, went back and forth with Spartan on Twitter for a good while. The specifics of what were said aren't terribly important, just know that these players were going to do everything in their power to show the other one up whenever they could. For the first two years, Ryan Noob always finished even or ahead of Spartan in tournaments where they both competed. From Halo 4's AGLA 5 Nashville in April of 2013 to Iron Games Atlanta two years later. Whether online or on LAN, Spartan just couldn't quite surpass Ryan Noob, though he did definitely establish himself as a pro-level Halo player. It wasn't until the May of 2015 on Halo 2 Anniversary, competing in the second online cup of Season 2 of the HCS Pro League, that Spartan finally outplaced Ryan Oob. Not a large gap, 3rd place versus 5th 6, but it was the start of the tables turning in Spartan's favor. Over the next 3 years, Spartan would outplace Ryan Oob in every online and LAN event except one. A qualifier for the 2017 World Championship in which Spartan placed top 64 after Rain and Penguin were swapped out for Suspector and Trippy. Fast forward to July 15th, 2018, Memorial Convention Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. At this event, when pool play came around, Spartan's Elevate squad made up of himself, L-Town, Falcated, and Sabinator, and Ryan Oob's Team Trifecta, consisting of himself, Shooter, Musa, and Rain, drew the same group. When the two faced off initially, Elevate swept the series 3-0, with only Game 2 going down to the wire in a 50-47 finish. After the final flag cap went in, Spartan immediately started yelling across the stage before proceeding to snub Ryan Noob during the handshake. Right here, and then Spartan does a great job pushing by the middle and making sure that he gets a guy to no shield, standing up, talking smack to Ryan. You knew it was gonna come as soon as they clutched up that game. 
I mean, Spartan once again backing up his smack dog. This helps secure Elevate's place in the winner's bracket by finishing 2-1 and one in the group, while Trifecto is at the bottom losing all three matches and started in round one of the loser's bracket as a result. As the tournament played out, the teams found themselves in a rematch in loser's round four, fighting for their tournament lives. Game one was Plaza Strongholds. Despite a decent effort from Trifecta, Elevate would take the first map 100-66. to Game two was a tight slayer match on Truth. Trifecta got out to an early lead and never looked back, closing it out 50 to 46. Echelon Oddball didn't do anything to lower the viewer's blood pressure, as Elevate squeaked out the 150 to 144 victory. Needing to win game four, Trifecta came out swinging, taking a 2-0 lead in Refuge CTF. From Elevate, stop that flag pull from happening. Yeah, they stopped the flag run, but it's still not over just yet. That flag does get touched by Musa. Ryan who gets a double kill. This flag is making it all the way back, Golden Boy. This might be the second cap. Cat Musa slides right in, and that is going to do it. Not once roll over, and certainly not so when there was an opportunity for Spartan to beat Ryan on the line, Elevate capped a pair of flags themselves to tie things up at two. Going to be tied up here, ladies and gentlemen. With around three minutes left, Trifecta was able to scrape together a cap and force the series to a game five. For the stop, but Ryan Reigns going to bring the flag up, and we're going to game five, baby. Plaza Team Slayer. This was every competitive Halo fan's dream scenario. Two rivals on even teams duking it out in game five, and to stay alive in the tournament no less. The game did not disappoint either, with the teams being tied at 38 with two minutes left. Off the back of a double kill from Musa, Trifecta smelled blood in the water. With Rain locking things down with the sniper, they were able to start pushing and getting picks. Now they have control and the lead. Trifecta only knows one speed, and that is very fast, because that is how they push onto their opponents and don't give them any kind of breathing room there. And Spartan tried to go for some no-scopes because he didn't have anyone there to protect him. Now to put the final nail in the coffin, Musa was able to steal the overshield from the hands of Sabinator, allowing Trifecta to start pushing even more. 23 seconds left on the clock. Overshield's going to be up in a few. Sabinator just snuck on over there. We keep oh! how they get those over. Oh, he got it! He Both got those it! those players grab at the same time. Musa comes out ahead. After that, it was just a matter of making sure to trade off any deaths. And with 24 seconds on the clock, Rain took out Falcated to bring home the series. That's when all hell broke loose. Rain with the stop! And that is gonna be sweet, sweet victory for Trifecta! And look at that! Oh my goodness, did you see that? Rhino just getting right up in Spartan's face! Luckily for everyone involved, there was an absolute unit of a stage referee to make sure things didn't come to blows, but the two were heated. After Ryan Noob's chirping, Spartan shouted back, quote, you're fucking trash and you always win. the lip reading and uh, I think what was said was, we just beat you in a game five. I think that's exactly what was said. Ryan Noob took the chance during the post-series interview to throw even more shade, calling Spartan overrated and saying that he got lucky to be on teams yeah, that carried him. He's been a top eight player his entire career. He got lucky, he got overrated, got on some good teams that carried him. This event, he didn't have that. This event, he did not have a team to carry him and we beat him. Spartan would get the last laugh, winning all but one of the rivals' remaining battles during Halo 5 cycle. There is a relatively happy ending to all this though, as the pair would eventually overcome their animosity to team together in the middle of 2020 for a few online events. Place Placing third fourth in one of the H3 MCC Pro Series weeks, as well as top eight and top 16 in a couple of the Halo 5 Pro Series weeks. Good rivalries bring a lot to the table for esports. They make everything more intense, increase viewership, and just in general drive extra traffic to that particular esport. Something that's especially important for a series in Halo's current state. But if we learned anything from this pair's battles, it's that sometimes even a Spartan can be taken down by a really good move.